Hello everyone, my name is Jeffrey and welcome to my Hiroshima Diary. Today we're going to be relaxing at home and I'm going to be making some soup for dinner. Enjoy. Today I have some time so I'm going to make a, um, a soup. So I'm going to put some corn in it. Uh, these two carrots, these two potatoes, a half of an onion. I've got some chicken stock there. And I picked up this pork loin this morning over at Costco. Not exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for a, a roast. So, so we need to peel the carrots first. I use a regular American style peeler. The ones in Japan are quite different. I don't have one, so I don't have it to show to you, but they use a draw method. And of course, we use a push away method. Okay. Very useful. Not as good as a trip. Uh, traditional convection oven like what I would have when I lived in the States or if I lived in the States but barring that it works okay not not great but okay That's it for the peeling. Okay, so now we're going to cut the vegetables. Since this is going to be in the Dutch oven, in the oven, we're going to leave those kind of chunky. We're going to have a chunky soup. To cook. I don't cook quite as much as I used to, but I'm not a fancy cook. And we're going to put some corn in there. So we want... Dang. Getting old is a problem. Your fingers out of the way. There we go. And we're just using a half an onion because these onions are kind of big. Okay, so that's it for the vegetables that are going into the soup. Okay, next up is um, chopping up this uh, pork loin. Okay, so... Oh, that's right. These come in two pieces. Yeah, that's good. Okay, we're going to slide it out a little bit. And cut that off, slide those back in, and we'll wrap that up and put it in the freezer. 
put it this way first. I'm going to leave this kind of chunky too. We're going to get started here. Uh, turn on the stove. Okay, so we're going to put some, or drizzle, as they say, some olive oil in there. Now, while I was putting away the other half of that pork, I found this open bag of edamame. So, a little bit frozen at the moment, but we're going to shell those and uh, put some edamame in this as well. Why not? That's sort of my philosophy of cooking and other things is why not? Uh, we got time to uh, put some edamame in there. While we're waiting for oil to warm up. Okay, so. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, good enough. Using a Bamba Costco. Some chicken stock. Okay. Try to get a ear on there. <laughs> Get those turned over. Of course, we're going to have these in the oven for about four hours, I imagine. Uh, hopefully those will disintegrate. I think that's good enough. Just dump all of that in there. Is. And let's see. And we need a few more of these in there. I'm going to have these for lunch as well. Finish off this bag. Now, while we're waiting for that to boil, we'll come over here to the oven. And we'll put that up at 180. And that goes up to 90 minutes. And then we'll get it started. So that's still preheating, but I'm going to turn off the stove here. Take this over and pop it in. Okay, so that's still preheating. So. This is going around. It's going to make a sound and we'll push the button and then it'll bake for 90 minutes. Um, and then we'll let it cool down in the hot oven 
and then after a while we'll turn it back on preheat it bake it for another 90 minutes and so that it's cooling down just around the time when my wife gets back from work and it's time to eat Chef is on its way <laughs> no. Too much is an No, maybe it's too much. Because mm. I'm on diet. <laughs> and we also have some uh, garlic bread over there. Uh, let's dig in. Of course, we are watching uh, Kaji Sak on uh, YouTube. My wife's favorite YouTube channel. Did you find any mystery ingredient yet? What's that one? Hey, the mummy? Yes, you got it. Hey, the mummy. Okay, say cook. But very delicious. The pork is very tender. Mm -hmm. well, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'd like to remind you that if you go over to Long Ago Ego, that's my other channel for Hiroshima Gamers, and I play Go over there, and I do put some uh, board games up there as well. Thanks for watching.